This problem asks us to determine the length of the longest 15% of pregnancies. So here's what the distribution of pregnancy lengths looks like. It has a mean of 260, a standard deviation of 16, it's normally distributed. So we're interested in the value of x that will correspond to an area here of 0.15. So this region up here corresponds to the longest 15% of pregnancy. So the question is, what's this value of x right here? Well, this is backwards from the, dist from the applications that we've used in Excel before, right? Norm dist, we have x values, it gives us areas. This time we're working backwards. We know an area and we want the x value. And so this is really a job for norm inv, which is a function that works backwards from norms dist. It's the inverse function, that's the i and b part. So one thing to keep in mind is that norm inv actually works with areas not to the right of an x value, but to the left. So we have to think in terms of, if this is going to have area 0.15, then this has got to have area 0.85, because the total area is 1. Okay, so this x value will be norm inverse. And what we have to do is give it an area, so 0.85. And just like with norm dist, we tell it the mean, 260 the standard deviation 16. There is no true or false for cumulative because it doesn't make any sense in this context. So this should tell us exactly what we're looking for, the value of x that corresponds to the longest 15% of pregnancy. So let's actually go ahead and pull up Excel and compute that. All right, so let's see here. Norm inf, and again, we tell it first the probability. So point, remember it's 0.85, not 0.15, because it's always to the left. Uh, the mean, 260, standard deviation is 16, close parenthesis, and enter, and what we get is 276.58. Okay, so this equals 276.58. So the longest 15% of pregnancies are, well, about 276 and a half days and more. So this is one way to do this problem, and probably the simpler of the two ways. The other way is the usual routine where we standardize. So draw a little line here, and we'll do this one more time quickly. So now if we think in terms of, instead of the normal distribution specific to pregnancies, if we just start with standard normal, so 0, here's z, and we ask the same question. Okay, for what value of z right here is this area equal to 0.15? Well, just like up above, that means this area over here is 0.85. So we can find this specific z value by using norms inv. Okay, so this is now n o r m s i n v of 0.85. Okay, and again, the reason is uh, the s is standard normal. Okay, and all we have to do is tell it the probability, the area to the left of the value we're interested in. When it's standard normal, it already knows its mean. Uh, 0 and standard deviation 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that out and find out what it is. So we can pull up Excel and do that. So let's see here. Now if we do norms env, and it's only the probability, so 0.85. So just slightly over 1, so 1 1.036, let's say. So there's the z value. So now the last step is to kind of unstandardize. Okay, so remember, we've got z equals, it's always x minus the mean, so 260, divided by the standard deviation, 16. So now we know the z value. We know this value. We want to know what the corresponding x value is. All right, so if we plug in z here, we've got 1.036 equals x minus 260 divided by 16 space here. So x has got to be equal to what? Well first I'll multiply across. So 1.036 times 16 and then uh, if that's multiplied across then we're left with a minus 260. So I'm going to add that on both sides. So plus 260. Okay and if you do this calculation, actually work it out for yourself, what you'll get is exactly the same thing. 256 or 76 rather 0.58. So again, we do get to the same place. It's a little bit lengthier when we standardize. In a lot of cases, these problems are probably faster and more efficient by using uh, the general normal distribution and normal inverse functions in Excel rather than standardizing 
and then using the special standardized ones. But it's really up to the individual user. I mean, it, either one will certainly work.